There's one thing we do. And all of us will do it. I am guilty. Pastors are guilty. All of you are guilty. But you must end tonight. Amen. Amen. You must end tonight. There's something we do that shows we don't fit God. And God says, whoever does it will never enter my kingdom. Are you following me? We are talking about that disease that's incurable. Mama said, hey, this kind of disease that is not curable. God called this an incurable virus. Mommy, it's a virus that replicates and replicates and kills the owner and kills everybody else. Are you following me? It's a virus that is incurable. I'm talking about gossip. Listen to me, gossip. You may call it gossiping. You may say it is a gossiper. They are all correct. A gossiper or a gossiper. Now, it's not a gossiper. Against somebody else. A child of God does not engage in gossip. Now, can you tell me why you would do that? No, you didn't do it. I'm not saying you If I do that, I come to my brother here. Did you hear what that man did? But I'm saying I'm born again. I'm born again. Can you tell me why I'm saying turn it to you? You can't tell me why, why am I telling you? I'm gonna be in Asiki. I'm gonna be here for Bunasiki. Nobody can tell me. I don't know what you can tell me. I don't know what you can tell me. I know, but why? Oh, God bless you. I'm going back. My eye of a that's absolute lack of fear of God. One who is born of God cannot gossip. One who fears God is as God. Your yes is yes. Your no is no. This my brother does something I don't know. I'm not doing him, I'm not doing him any service by telling this man. What I will do a service, I come to him. Are you following me? Whatever I say behind somebody, if I cannot say it, what is this? It is a gossip. And it is intended to destroy. And make the person look bad. Hey, listen to me. A gossip is somebody who habitually spreads uncomplimentary rumor. Are you following me? As long as this mouth 
is not spiritually controlled. You don't fear God. Everything that proceeds out of your mouth should bring light. Whenever you gossip against somebody, you make it a person. Do you hear that? You are laughing at a person. God will never forget somebody, forgive somebody who laughs at him. Are you are you following me? This is a gossip. It's so eager. And do you know the punishment is against the gossip and the one who listens to him? God will punish the itching ear. The way which is eating. Give me the gist. Give me the gist. I'm encouraging you. Are you following me? No, me so. If I tell you, give me the gift, I'm not really feeling the pain of my brother. Are you, are you, are you here? Gossip. To destroy. The gossip that comes to kill. Because I have to tell you something evil about this person. It's for you to join me so that we can kill the guy. But we, don't, we forget one thing. When the gossip is at work, he's also destroying himself. Because that finger you point to somebody, the other four is accusing you. And you know one thing? The one who is eating to hear. Whenever that person is not around, he's talking about him or her. That's why gossiping is, I think, terrible violence. It kills everybody. The curse comes to kill. The person is gossiping against. The gossip comes also to steal. Mommy, what is he steal? He's trying to steal, steal reputation he does not have. If I'm telling you something bad about this person, I'm trying to tell you that I'm good. Hey, There's a problem with gossip. He, he goes on to kill and kill and kill and kill because you can never take it back. Are you following me? You know, let me tell you one thing. Ask yourself, before you say something about me, are you saying it out of love? Whatever that is devoid of love is not of God. I, I hear why you here. I, I told you that God is going to visit us tonight. Whenever you talk against a person, you're laughing at the person. Or, you are trying to seek entertainment. But how can you entertain yourself? And the space of another created by God. There must be difference between you and the unbeliever. Are you following me? I mean, whenever we laugh, read the Proverbs 17 5. Proverbs 17. Are you, are you with me? Are you with me? Yes, sir.
He who mocks the poor reproaches his maker. He who mocks the poor. If I'm in trouble and you are going ta -ta 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 spreading me everywhere, are you helping me? No, big Are you helping me? A child of God should be crying when you're suffering. Because a child of God has a heart of God. The heart of compassion. The heart of love. So, will somebody, did you read it? Yes. He who is glad at calamity will not go upon. He will never go unpunished. But you know what we do every there's a disease we have. Mommy, the incurable one. Especially my people. Especially my people, the Igbo. Even in America. Whenever they say, did you hear? It's always bad news about somebody. But when they hear about the good one, it, 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 is it the only one? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Envy. Envy is the worst poison. Envy, envy is what can destroy without cause. Are you following me? Now, before you talk to about anybody, such a heart. This thing I'm saying, am I saying it out of love? Have I tried to help this my brother or sister? And he, and he will help. This is help. Listen what to me. What I'm saying. Does he have any eternal value? Whatever I'm saying. How does he help my brother or sister? He you know what? For those who are children of God, that says what? Read me Galatians 6, please. 1 and 2. Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness. Consider yourself, lest you also be tempted. Is it? Bear one another's bodies as one another's bodies. Otherwise, you are not a Christian. Pastor, one another's body and fulfill who? The law of Christ. If I don't fulfill the law of Christ, I'm not of Christ. What I'm saying about this person does it help the person? Or am I destroying the person? Most of us have committed murders, many murders, without even knowing we'll be murdering people. When you destroy the character of somebody, you have destroyed him. Because he has a character that is not suitable for God. That's why the Bible says, and we don't have time to read it. It says, life and death are in the power of what? But Servant and a child of God. His life. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. If I'm together with Christ. So whatever comes out of my mouth is to give life. Not death.
Are you following me? That's why he warned us. Whoever laughs at my child, read me Proverbs 24. 17 to 18. Ah, 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 okay. Okay. Go on. Proverbs 24, 17 and 18. Yes. Do not rejoice when your enemy falls. And do not let your heart be glad when he stumbles. Least the Lord see it and it displeased him. And he turned away his wrath from him. Hey! Are you following me? That's why this is my brother is going to you are going to live long. Amen. If you laugh at my child, I will take the burden and put it on your head. That's why he told us. Look at Galatians 6, 7 to 8. Whatsoever a man does, are you following me? If you laugh at somebody who is in trouble, when your own trouble comes, God will laugh. Are you following me? And that's why he calls a gossip a worthless person. He is, a worthless Person. Proverbs 6, 12 to 15, please. Proverbs 6, 12 to 15. Yes. A worthless person, a wicked man, a wicked man, walks with a perverse mouth. Are you hearing? He walks with a perverse mouth. Come, he waits with his eyes. You know how he waits? Listen, 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 listen. You know how he waits? He's like, You know how he waits? He's like, You know how he waits? When I say something behind you, then when I see you in the morning, hey sister, hey sister, when the mouth and the heart are in conflict, the person is dead. Are you following me? Let what is in your heart be what will come out of your mouth, otherwise, you condemn yourself. Are you following me? Go on, please. He shuffles his feet. Of course. He points with his feet. You know how he shuffles his feet? He runs from this brother. One day somebody called me. Dr. Mecca, did you hear? I said, did I ask you to tell me? Are you following what I'm talking about? Before you tell me something about somebody, search yourself. Remember the woman that was caught in adultery. Whoever among you who has no sin at all, cast the first stone. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't watch the microphone is wasting time. We will finish it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go. On. Perversity is in his heart. Perversity is in his heart. He devises evil continually. Do you know that God's people will never be happy without trying to destroy somebody? Mm. He sows discord. He sows discord. There is nothing that is nothing that separates friends than gossip. Your best friend, your husband, your wife, even in churches, even in churches, there is nothing that creates division more than gossip.
Suddenly he shall be broken without remedy. These six things, no, I, I, don't go there. <laughs> I told you, fifteen. You did you get to fifteen? Yes. You are you excited now, right? Somehow. Somehow. Okay. You see, you see, it tells you this person is worthless. Oh no, carry no new. I think he's off the do not make friends with the person. Do not listen to the person. Because there are some of us. Even by the time they get up in the morning, their ears are eating. There are some of us who have telephones. They are waiting for Jesus. They are teaching about somebody else. Now think about it. Rebellion. If they are teaching about you, would you, would you be happy? Which, 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 which means gossip. It violates every tenant of commandment of God. Do unto others as you would like them to do unto you. You know one thing then? And God told me. When this came up, they would tell you that's why they're laughing. It overthrew the whole fellowship. Every person crying and considering his And the Lord told me. A person is not only worthless. They gossip has seven abominations against him. Are you following me? Read me 16 to 19. These six things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look. A lying tongue. A lying Hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that divides it wickedly. Feet that are swiftly running to him. A false witness who speaks lies. And one who sold his God among brethren. One who sold his God among brethren. From today, let it be the end of God. Amen. 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 If you want God to touch you, if you want God to renew you, if you want to ask for the Spirit, my God and my Father, I have come, we have come to have you as you say. And you have shown that you love your children. This is a rain of blessing upon them, and none of them will ever be sick. Our Heavenly Father, the hunger of the children, that which they ask, I come now in the name, by the power and authority of Jesus Christ, and ask you to make a memorial in heaven. Let God be record in heaven to remember your children, to remember them. Pour your spirit upon them, Lord, the spirit of understanding. I pray you permanently to record their families, to touch them, Lord. Let them turn away from their wicked, anything that's not of you. It's over. They renew their own life with you, Lord. No one can take them away from you. I pray you, Lord, to come and do it in Africa. Establish it, my big of God, in heaven. Glorified. You have God. There is no other God beside you. Mighty God who is in heaven. We pray that you come, you come, establish your children. Come and bless the God. Is there any sick among them? Physical.
evil sickness, whatever it is. Lord, find out abundance of your grace and grace. Forgive, heal them, touch them, make a new thing in Africa. Beginning with everyone who is out there standing before you. Let the blessings of the living God never forsake them. Let the Spirit of God never depart from their lives and from our people. Ancient of days, you hold your children. You remember them as you remember the Abraham. You remember every one of them as you remember their everlasting covenant. Establish your everlasting covenant with your children. Whoever does not know you very well, Father, put your strength in them. You are the one who can do it. Let the spirit of the living God, the spirit of life, the spirit of perfection go with you and with your family. Let things turn around from this very day. Let the Lord fight the battles for you. No matter whatever it is, God, I pray you give victory unto your children. And forever and forever, let the name of the Lord be established in our people and in your hearts and your families. May your families ever see the glory of the Lord from everlasting to everlasting in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you.